Lisa Snowden has bravely opened up on her experience as a domestic violence survivor and how the trauma led her to bury the conversation. Lisa Snowden, 50, admitted she buried the domestic violence she had endured following an abusive relationship. The model turned presenter earlier this month shared her horrifying testimony during a candid conversation with Kate Thornton on the podcast White Wine Question Time. Explaining the reason why she started speaking out against domestic violence, Lisa gave an insight into the abuse she received at the hands of unnamed ex-partner over the course of several years. Lisa revealed, domestic violence, was something that I'd never spoken about ever before. And it was something that I'd sort of buried, and I didn't have the tools in order to actually process what I'd been through. Lisa continued, ooh, it gives me a lump in my throat. I mean. It is hard for me still to talk about it. I parked it after that for a long time. And then I did something, I think, in lockdown. Lockdown did a lot for us. There was a lot of negative, but there was also quite a lot of positive for me like the menopause conversation. Lisa went on, I felt brave to start talking about that much more openly then. And I definitely did something on the domestic violence and the pain and the hurt that I'd been through. Lisa is now happily engaged to her fiancé George Smart, who proposed in 2017. The pair were due to get married in Japan in 2020, but the ceremony was cancelled due to the pandemic. As well as opening up on her previous experience, Lisa has also recently become an advocate for female health issues. Speaking to Express.co.uk, the television and radio presenter shared details about her own health history and how she maintains her well-being. When asked about any previous health woes, if any, Lisa explained, I've had a few issues. A few things that have come up. I have had a few surgeries. I had a hernia removed when I was 7, my tonsils removed when I was 17, my appendix removed when I was 28. And then I was fine for a good stretch of time. Then I got admitted to hospital for meningitis and glandular fever. So I was a bit poorly, then and it had a bit of a knock-on effect with my energy levels and my brain concentration.